Hey, what's up? In some previous videos, we show you how to swap a different gear ratio in BMW differential. This time, we're going to demonstrate how to properly swap LSD unit into different differential housing. Here we have this lovely BMW Motorsport LSD unit upgraded to 40% lock. If you want to learn more about this upgrade, then check the suggested video tag up and watch the whole video. Now we wish to install this fella, which originally came from E36 into this E30 housing. Before we start to work, we're going to show you what tool is necessary to complete the job successfully. Starting with the basic tool, socket 19, socket 13, rubber hammer, a precise torque wrench which measures up to 5 Newton meters is necessary, uh, adapter for it for the side flange and a shim set for adjustment of the carrier position. Uh, this and the adapter can be purchased from our web shop, the link is in the description and at the end screw adhesive as a must. That's about it. The key point is to determine the overall thickness of side shims or adjustment shims as you want to call them uh, because you have the new carrier unit in the old housing. Uh, these shims dictates the preload and position on the carrier unit which is important for the normal functionality of the differential. Uh, you know what these are for. When you have the side cap on the side uh, these shims go here and the thickness of these shims dictates how further can this bearing cone uh, penetrate into the hosing, creating the pressure to the bearings of the differential unit. Uh, so overall thickness, sum of the thickness of the, this right shim and left shim uh, will dictate the preload on the unit and this is the key point to adjust first. We like to start the procedure from the thinnest shims, uh, increasing the thickness of the shims step by step. So starting with 1.1 and 1 millimeter from our set. Uh, also key point is uh, to lubricate the bearing cones well, because otherwise you will have, uh, you will have wrong measuring. And to measure uh, preload on the side bearings only without affecting any other any other things uh, like crown gear and the pinion resistance. Remove the crown gear from the carrier unit and like this, put it inside with thinnest shims to see what happens. As you can see, the unit can barely be spin uh, because the pressure is too high. So uh, shims are too thin, allowing the side caps to penetrate further, creating additional pressure on the bearings. Because of that, I can barely spin the differential, so this is not good. The next step is to increase for 0.1 millimeter side shims. So this feels better, but uh, still not good enough uh, to be measured. So we will continue with the procedure of increasing 1.1, uh, 0.1 and 0.2 thickness until we reach the measurable point.
As you can see, the differential now spins more easily, so we reach the point when we can do some actual measuring. To do the measuring, you need a dimension adapter for the output flange for the torque wrench. This adapter can be purchased from our web shop, as I already mentioned, and it serves to let you attach the torque wrench to the output flange so you can measure the torque resistance or uh, carrier preload as we want to call it. So we're going to show that now to you and talk about some values that you can get. What you should aim for as a perfect result is 0.5 Nm, not 5, 0.5. Maybe sounds too small, but it is the perfect amount of preloads to keep differential from moving left or right, and yet to allow it to spin easily as we showed you previously. So if you have less than 0.5, then you should decrease overall thickness. If you have more than 0.5, you should increase overall thickness of side shins. This is the perfect procedure for getting uh, the proper preload on the LSD carrier unit inside your BMW differential. Once you can set a preload on the carrier unit, you should set the gear patch and the backlash. Since we already done a video on that topic, we won't be showing it in this one. If you want to see a complete video on the gear patch and the backlash, check this suggested video right here. If you want to see how to upgrade the LSD unit with the stage one pack, then check this video. And if you want to see how to completely overhaul the differential from E30 with bearing change, oil seal change and everything else, then check this video right here. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click on the button right here, as more tutorial videos are about to come. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any additional questions, please feel free to write us email and we will respond as soon as possible. Have a nice day.